हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एलपीजी सप्लाई सिस्टम इन दैट वी हैव कवर्ड द टेक टैंक एंड देन वी हैव कवर्ड द एफजीएस किट एंड ऑल इट्स कंपोनेंट एंड इन द एफजीएस किट वी हैव सीन देयर आर टू कूलर्स एंड वन हीटर सो the basic purpose of providing this heater and cooler we i have already discussed in the previous video so in this video we will see the circuit for the cooling medium that is how the lpg in these coolers is heated or cooled so what is the cooling medium or what is uh, how is the circuit works for heating and cooling of the lpg in the fg circuit so let's begin with the video so uh, as you can see this is the glycol cooling system which is provided for the fgss kit so in the uh, fgss kit we have discussed that there is one heater that is when uh, lpg enters the fgss kit from the deck tank it can be at uh, minus 2240 degrees so in that condition we need to heat the lpg so for that purpose lpg heater was provided and then we have supply cooler and then return cooler so supply cooler and return cooler basically cools down the lpg from 50 to 34 degrees celsius approximately i'm telling the readings uh, this uh, supply cooler uh, is uh, provided after hp pump so the lpg gets heated up in the hp pump and then before injection this uh, lpg needs to be cooled down so for that purpose this supply cooler is provided and uh, the uh, some excess amount of lpg is uh, directed towards the main engine so that uh, lpg which is in excess is returned back to the fgss kid and that uh, lpg is heated up in the main engine gets heated up so that needs to be cooled down before it is uh, in uh, before it is uh, supplied to the hp pump suction so for that we have this return cooler so we have already discussed these things the what 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 is the purpose of all these three coolers now we will see how this heating as well as cooling carried out with a single circuit in the uh, skid so in this circuit there are two glycol pumps so these pumps are basically the centrifugal pumps they take suction from one header tank which is called the glycol tank then uh, after taking suction from this glycol tank this uh, glycol is circulated through the steam heater which which is then passed to the sea water cooler and then from cooler it is passed through uh, the supply cooler as well as through the return cooler so these two supply cooler and the return cooler they both are provided in parallel and then after that the Uh, cooling medium that is the glycol is passed through the lpg heater and uh, after lpg heater it is uh, returned back to the glycol tank and from glycol tank again the fresh water uh, or the glycol uh, pumps take suction and this uh, this cycle is repeated on and on so till now we have seen that this fg circuit is provided with dual purpose heating and cooling system which basically utilizes the circuit of fresh water or a mixture of fresh water and glycol uh, solution that basically uh, maintains the temperature of lpg in the fuel side of the heat exchanger before it is delivered to the engine so this whole system or the whole circuit works automatically to maintain the temperature of the lpg before it is uh, supplied to the main engine or delivered to the main engine so let's see how the temperatures are maintained automatically so this uh, fresh water glycol pump takes suction from this expansion tank so this expansion tank basically contains uh, the solution of ethylene glycol plus the water so this solution is passed through this steam heater and with the help of this steam this uh, this uh, steam heater is provided with uh, steam so with the help of this steam the uh, mixture or the solution of fresh water and the glycol is heated up to 30 degrees now after the fresh water glycol solution is heated up to 30 degrees uh, celsius by this steam then it is uh, 
pass through this three way wall so this three way wall basically tries to maintain the fresh water glycol solution temperature to 34 degrees celsius so before it is supplied to the supply cooler and the return cooler its temperature is uh, maintained at 34 degrees celsius with the help of this uh, three way wall so till now we have seen uh, this three way wall uh, tries to maintain temperature uh, to 34 degrees celsius before it is supplied to the supply cooler as well as to the return cooler but in case the fresh water glycol solution temperature is below 34 degrees celsius before this wall then in that case it will fully bypass this sea water cooler and it will directly supply this 34 degree celsius solution of fresh water glycol to this supply cooler as well as to this return cooler so the fresh water uh, glycol solution after this uh, three way wall or you can say after this sea water cooler uh, at 34 degree celsius splits up into this uh, two uh, parts and enters into the supply cooler as well as this return cooler parallelly which provides cooling to this uh, lpg in this supply and return cooler and then the uh, outlet stream basically recombines over here and this flows through the heater this lpg heater allowing heating of the lpg before it finally enters the uh, expansion tank of this glycol system so this is how the this close uh, circuit basically maintains the lpg temperature in the fgss skid now let's uh, discuss some practical aspects associated with this circuit so the solution uh, which is this uh, fresh water and ethylene glycol solution is basically 50 50% means that uh, the, the the solution is 50% ethylene glycol and 50% fresh water so we need to maintain sufficient level on this tank so that this uh, fresh water glycol pump doesn't uh, lose suction there is a safety provided for this purpose so this uh, tank will have a low level alarm as well as trip so if the level in this tank goes below the required level then these pumps will trip and uh, also the whole uh, fgss system will Trip. now the other safety which is provided is this steam supply wall so till that time you open this wall the steam supply wall you won't be able to start the uh, fg uh, this hp pumps which are there in the fgs skid so there is a very uh, strong reason why this interlock is provided like suppose we have just bunkered lpg into the deck tank so at that uh, at the time of bunkering its temperature will be at around Minus thirty to minus forty, you can say. Okay. Now, if this cold LPG is uh, supplied to this skid, then skid will get damaged. So, to protect that, we are uh, provided with this interlock. So, this interlock uh, first we have to open this wall. Then only we will be able to start the FGSS skid HP pumps. So now the question comes. that uh, how this uh, lpg which is just bunkered that is lpg which is in uh, minus temperatures then how this lpg will damage the fgs skid so if you remember uh, from my second video in which i was discussing about the uh, purpose of providing this lpg heater then uh, over there i told you that the return lpg which is coming from the engine will have a small amount of system oil into it so if the lpg is uh below four point of this uh, of those uh, system oil main engine system oils then what will happen the system oil will get accumulated uh, on the pipes or basically they will get solidified and it will block the piping system and as you know that the pressures uh, on these pipes are at around 50 bars so there are chances that the pipes can get damaged and the whole system or the whole fgs skid can also get damaged so for that purpose we have to heat up this lpg before it is uh, supplied or before it is uh, supplied to the hp pumps so this is all about the fresh water glycol system for the fgs skid now in the next video we will see the double all piping arrangement which is provided from the deck tank to the main engine 
so why the system is provided and uh, what are what all components are there in the system and how the system works so all those things we will try to cover in the next video so till then take care have fun